Good afternoon. Thank you all so much for coming here today to listen to our talks. My name is Brendan Reardon, and I'm a second year graduate student with Aideen Kalhan in the School of Medicine. I'm a computational scientist, and my research specifically focuses on cancer, trying to help the individual cancer doctors figure out what treatments they should be giving their patients. Slide, please. Every year, 40,000 people in Ireland will be diagnosed with cancer. And one of the promises of precision cancer medicine is that rather than treat all these patients roughly the same, instead, we can personalize treatment to each of them based on the unique mutations present in their cancer's DNA. But how does this work logistically? Well, here in Europe, the European Medicines Agency, or EMA, authorizes such treatments for use based on the latest clinical trials. These treatments are specific for the type of cancer, mutations, and the clinical context for each patient. But access is a bit trickier. Here in Ireland, private insurers largely agree to pay for anything that the um, EMA has authorized. But if you're receiving care through the public system, you have to wait for the Health Service Executive, or HSE, to approve it for reimbursement. Now, you're probably wondering, with that delay, cancer doctors are wondering if there's a disparity in care. So much so that the Irish Times recently published a piece sharing remarks from a conference which is stipulated are patients in the public system receiving second-rate care. Coincidentally, my research was well poised to ask this question. Let me explain. We read over 500 documents from both the EMA and HSC and synthesized it into a database, and we were able to ask, do we see a disparity? And what we're seeing is that the HSC is currently reimbursing about 40% of the EMA approvals that involve mutations. And we can zoom in on different types of cancer. For example, lung cancer, about 60%, but colorectal cancer, almost perfect coverage. So these are preliminary findings, but what do we think the impact is thus far? Well, first, we've tried to characterize this potential disparity and added data to the conversation. And second, by adding it all to a database, we can then build algorithms and software to further help cancer doctors make treatment decisions. And what next? Oftentimes in science, pursuing one question often leads to many more, and this research is no difference. So we're currently asking, one, how many patients may benefit from these additional things that the HSC can approve? Two, can we make a recommendation to the HSC for what they might want to prioritize? And three, especially for this talk, do I think that patients in the public health system are receiving uh, second grade care? I don't think the answer is a simple black and white answer. Cancer care is incredibly complex and nuanced, and frankly, expensive, especially for so many of these new treatments. So either way, I'm personally optimistic about the future of cancer care in Ireland, and I really hope that this research can impact patients in a positive way. Thank you.